Look at the bottom of the heat sink. See this ledge here? That's cut out of there for a reason. Look at the shape of that. Notice this. This is a higher elevation than the CPU socket. So this ledge is cut out to go up and over the CPU socket. This can make all the difference in the world. If this is put on backwards, what will happen is the heat sink will ramp up onto this cam box and the CPU will overheat because the die, the part of the CPU that's actually generating all the heat, is not getting proper cooling. I've seen a lot of chips die this way. Real common mistake. What you want to do is just make sure that ledge is over this cam box. Sure, most of the time that means your fan wire is going to come out this side. That just means you just have to run the wire a little curve here. Or I've even some, seen some people take the fan off, turn it, screw it back down. Whatever floats your boat, I don't care. Just make sure you put it on right. Now this is a retail heat sink. You can see that there's this pink pad of thermal compound on here. This is most commonly used. This is called phase change thermal compound. When it heats up, it liquefies. Fills in all the gaps. And then when it cools down, it becomes solid again. As you can see, this is used. As you can see, it was put on correctly because the impression of the CPU die is right in the middle of the pink pad. If I had installed this backwards at any time, you would find that it's melted here. These pads are always significantly larger than they need to be. And normally you wouldn't want to reuse one of these guys. This was only installed once before, and there's still enough thermal compound on here to do some good cooling. But be very careful. Any bare metal here at all, you're going to want to scrape this whole thing off and reapply some thermal grease like uh, Arctic Silver 2, Arctic Silver 3, or Antec Silver product. Uh, the reason why the silver product is because it's very thermally conductive, not very electrically conductive, and the Arctic Silver Company, for example, which is the same company that makes the Antec Silver, has worked on making the greases higher and higher viscosity, which is normally a reason why thermal grease is not recommended, is because typically it's a low viscosity, and through powering up the machine and shutting it down again, the contraction and expansion of these parts heating up and cooling down actually causes the grease to pump out through the sides of the die. Then you're left with no grease in about six months. You end up having to take everything apart and reapplying grease, putting your heat sink back on again. Now, here's how we're going to go about installing this heat sink. We're going to first simply place it level right on top of the CPU. That's it. None of this rocking motion, none of this hooking the back clip on, then putting this clip on. Put it on level, let the clip just dangle in the wind. We're going to use our forefinger to go ahead and pop the back clip on. Real easy, even though there's this row of caps here. Still, really easy. On the other side of the heat sink. You'll see on this side of the heat sink, there's three little prongs. You've got the one in the middle is made for a screwdriver. You got two on either side is made so the screwdriver doesn't rock side to side. Now sometimes you can actually get these on with your finger. Believe it or not, that's not a good thing. You want a lot of spring tension on this heat sink. It has to put the pressure right in that die in the middle. And if it doesn't get good contact, or if the pressure is not directly in the middle, say it's off to either side, again, another reason for a CPU to overheat and die prematurely. So, you want a good tight clip. If they go off and on too many times, the spring steel wears out, they don't hold down as tight, and an old fan soon becomes the reason why your CPU is dead. Now, what we want to stick in this is a screwdriver. It's not, I believe. What you want to do is put the screwdriver in there, push down, and when you make contact with the plastic tab on there, start prying back, and boom. That's it. It's on there. 